More than three and a half centuries ago, a small band of pilgrims gathered around a harvest time table in New England to thank God for the bounty He'd bestowed upon them and for carrying them safely through their first year in the New World. Now, so many years later, we Americans still take time in this season to thank someone larger than ourselves for all the blessings He's given us. We thank Him for the richness of our land. We thank Him for our freedoms. We thank Him for the goodness and decency of our nation. We thank Him for the opportunities we have as Americans. And like those early pilgrims, we thank Him for carrying our people safely through another year. This year, as Nancy and I and all Americans bow our heads at the Thanksgiving table, we will be saying a special prayer of thanks for you. Because of you, America today is at peace. Because you patrol the frontiers that divide the free world from its adversaries. Because you guard the sea and the air. Because of your dedication to your duty, America and the values that America stands for are safe and secure. Wherever you are around the world, we hope this is a season of happiness for you. We know that many of you would like to be with your families but can't. We know how much they miss you and you miss them. But what you are doing is a special act of love for them, for your friends, and for America. And all of us love you for it. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Cut. In this season when families all over America are gathering together in peace and love, Nancy and I wish you, America's men and women in uniform, a happy holiday. We're told that blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Well, no group of men and women on earth has better claim to being called the children of God than you. Whether your duties put you aboard ship, in the air, or on a base, you're guarding America's greatest heritage, our heritage of freedom. You're keeping a free America strong, and that strength is mankind's greatest guarantee of peace. I know that this is a time of year when your thoughts turn to the folks back home, to holiday dinners and parties, and to sitting by the fire and exchanging gifts. And I know you miss being there. But this is also a time of year when we think of you. Your parents, your families, and your friends all wish you were back here. But like all of us, they're proud of the work you're doing and the sacrifice you're making. You carry America's flag and what it stands for with courage, honor, and dignity. We love you for it. Throughout the world, people who cherish peace and freedom love you for it. And so at this time of Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year, to every soldier, sailor, airman, and marine, and to your families, best wishes for a joyous holiday season, a year of goodwill, of help, and happiness. That goes from Nancy and me and from all of us here in the States.